If you've recently thumbed through the pages of an IT magazine or perused the pages of your latest tech blog, you must have noticed that edge computing is one heck of a hot topic nowadays. But what does this really mean? Well, stay tuned for a short, sweet overview courtesy of yours truly, Mike Hodge, AKA Packet Boy. What if I told you that there was a fundamental shift happening in operational technology, and it's happening right in front of our very eyes? What if I said that the cloud as we know it today is gonna to look a whole lot different in the coming years? The shift I'm talking about is the move from core computing to edge computing, and it's being driven by a massive growth in data demands. In fact, according to Cisco Systems, global IP traffic will reach an annual run rate of 4.8 zettabytes by 2022. That's equivalent to every movie ever made crossing global IP networks in just 53 seconds. What this means is that businesses cannot continue as usual while still keeping up with core responsibilities like maintaining network performance, investigating security threats, and implementing business-related network changes. In response, network architects are moving as much of the core compute resources as they can away from the cloud and into the edge of their network, which is helping them reduce both latency and costs. However, you still need to make sure your applications, services, and monitoring functions still work smoothly. That's why deploying a visibility architecture is such a pivotal tactic for a successful transition to edge computing. And that boils down to two key components, a network packet broker, also called an MPB, and SD-WAN. An NPB provides data aggregation, data filtering, application filtering, and performance monitoring. While well, SD-WAN services should be layered on top of IP-based links to guarantee link performance, as internet-based services can introduce unacceptable levels of latency and packet loss into your network. Now, there are a wealth of benefits for employing this kind of architecture, but for the sake of brevity, let's take a look at the top five, which are cost reduction of MPLS circuits, improved network visibility, improved troubleshooting capabilities, enhanced endpoint security, and improved network performance monitoring. The first is cost reduction of MPLS circuits. Enterprises and service providers alike want to reduce MPLS circuit costs as much as they possibly can and move to IP links because it gives them more flexibility, fewer headaches because they don't have to strip off MPLS headers, and lower costs. For example, by replacing MPLS circuits with IP-based links, companies can reduce their expenses by a hundredfold. The second reason architects are moving to edge computing is for improved network visibility. IP links enable the NOC to see all the way out to the edge of the network and monitor things like application performance and NetFlow data at branch locations. Currently, most enterprises lose visibility for the last mile of their network. This is a real problem because how do you identify potential problems that could cause long-term outages? Well, without visibility, you simply can't. Improved troubleshooting is another important use case here. By shifting to IP links, network operation centers can use IP-based tools and application intelligence to troubleshoot problems as fast as possible because they have all the data that they need. That means fewer truck rolls, which can lower your operating costs significantly. Fourth, you have enhanced endpoint security. This is absolutely necessary, especially with the explosive rise in IoT technology, which is expanding network attack services dramatically. Deploying next-generation firewalls at the network's edge is a great way to bolster security, and an NPB is very useful here to integrate it and other edge devices into your network. Finally, there's improved network performance monitoring. Some NPBs, like Ixia's Vision Edge 1S, feature included active monitoring capabilities, and by integrating them into your architecture, you get an easy way to check latent network performance and can actively test quality of service across the entirety of your edge locations and devices. But regardless of benefits, the bottom line is this. As you transition your network towards edge computing, the degree to which you build network visibility into your network is what's going to make or break the performance of your new architecture. It's as simple as that. For more edge computing tips, be sure to check out our edge computing solutions page, as well as the white paper entitled Edge Computing, Four Smart Strategies for Safeguarding Security and User Experience.